Jaw harp, cowboy style. If you haven't already checked out my video on how to play the jaw harp, make sure and check it out. I'll put a link in the description. I show you how to make all the basic sounds of the jaw harp and how to play safely. Both very important things. And if you haven't already, I'd make sure and subscribe. Let's cover the techniques for playing jaw harp cowboy style. So the fundamental rhythm is do hicka. Okay, what did I just do? Do hicka, except I'm breathing out do and then I'm breathing in and then breathing out quickly. Ah, do hicka 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 do. All right, so that's kind of the fundamental breath rhythm that's going on here. But also I'm shaping my mouth. Just as when you're whistling, you're moving your tongue, you know, back and forth depending on, and that helps shape the pitch as you're playing, uh, as you're whistling, but it also works the same as when you're playing the jaw harp. So if I play the jaw harp, my tongue is going and that's what's helped making in that sound. So in com combination with do hicka, I'm making the, my mouth go do, and then hika. So it's kind of making an E sound in combination. So do hika, do hika, do hika. And then if I add the jaw harp, it sounds something like this. <laughs> sounds pretty awesome, but we're not done yet. We're not even getting started. There's so much potential here. You kind of make that swing kind of lazily. So if you do do hika, do hika, it doesn't sound as awesome. You kind of have to like be lazy about it. I have no other way to describe it, but you're basically swinging the notes. Do, hick, do, hick, do, hick, do. Kind of the more swing you add, the more cowboy it feels. And notice what I'm doing with the jaw harp. I'm actually twanging on every beat. One, two, three, four. But you can also twang on every other beat and the beat. So every eighth note. So with this fundamental rhythm, do hicka, you can do quite a bit. Let's figure it out very slowly. Let's go a little bit faster. A little bit faster. And then you try and add that bit of swing. All right, we're learning the fundamentals here. So now that we've kind of made that bass rhythm, now let's try and shape this, the tone as we're as we're playing to go from low uh, to from open to kind of more closed. So this is what I'm doing with the jaw harp without making the doohaker rhythm. My tongue is moving forward and then backwards again. So let's combine that with do hicka. So now once you figure that out, you can actually move your tongue back and forth a lot faster to make some more interesting sounds. So you can move your tongue as fast as you want to to change up your sound and you can also twang the jaw harp faster to give it also a different sound. So It doesn't stop there. There's really as you can do anything you want. You can even just make a whole bunch of nonsense syllables and as long as you kind of have that do, ka do, ka do, ka do, ka rhythm going on, you can just use that to your advantage. So I'm just gonna say the vowels out loud, it's gonna sound ridiculous, but then I'm gonna play without the, the nonsense vocalization, you can hear what it sounds like. 
do diddle diddle daddle do diddle dee da 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 Man, I could just play that forever. It's so much fun. I hope that helps to help you learn the jaw harp cowboy style. Also, don't forget to watch this video. Thanks for watching.